Hey guys, uh, JV641 here. Um, back at you. Uh, I do apologize very much for the delay. I've been so, 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 so busy. Uh, just go over some things that's going on in my life really quickly. Um, and then we'll go over some additional Marvel toy line news, which is great. Um, as far as uh, here lately, I've been really, really busy. Work's been killing me. They're adding mandatory overtime, which I've told some of you guys about. It's really kicking my ass. It really is. And, uh, yeah, that on top of school, which I'm back in school. I don't know if I mentioned that in the previous video or not. So I'm back in school. Um, and there is another thing I'm trying to work up here pretty soon um, with the Fantasy Sports Consultant League um, where we're trying to give advice and possibly start our, start our own fantasy, fantasy sports um, league rather. Um, I don't know anything as far as the um, exact details on that so I won't go any further but uh, we'll be doing stuff on YouTube um, with that as well for you sports junkies out there. Um, they've hired me as the NBA analyst. I love basketball. I really do. Basketball is a passion of mine. I, I don't have the shape, of course, to play it, but I, I know the business. Um, and it is a business. And there's no way to get around that. It is a business. So um, I know that particular business and uh, I know how it works, more or less. I'm not a professional at it, obviously, but uh, I know more or less signing bonuses and how those work and blah 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 so nonetheless I'll look out for that here soon um, due to work it's uh, you know two of the guys uh, uh, including myself are in this fantasy sports league are starting this starting it up um, we both work at the same places both more or less just killing us so um, so other than that, of course, and work and school and blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm trying to also um, rearrange my room. Uh, this might be the last time you guys see this shelf up like this. I'm going to put some more shelves, give me more room for displays, more rooms to, um, you know, more room to, you know, expand my horizons um, with my Marvel Legends collection. So... All that stuff out of the way about me. Um, you don't, guys don't care about me. I know it's fine. Um, I do want to mention and thank you very much, Bug Nice Ten, Solid Snakes, Century Productions, JRA Nightmare, Ryan Wright, Sharnus Prime, Black Bolt, KJ Hulk. All you guys um, out there at the Comic Con, and I know there's a lot more out there. Um, they're just not popping my head right now, and I'm sorry for that. Thank you very much. Uh, um, um, for, on behalf of the community, I'm speaking for the community right now for you know bringing us the news as far as what's going on. Um, I'd, I'd wow. Um, you know, other than the two packs, which look amazing, uh, Marvel Universe, fr Universe figures, which I, I don't. It's it's all the same, guys. Marvel Universe, Marvel Legends, it's all the same except for the size. That's it. Everything's the same. I mean, you got a lot of the same joints. What's the difference? Nonetheless, um, you Marvel Universe guys, the gigantic battles they're coming out with. Um, I can't wait. I, I, I'm going to stock up on those. Um, Bill Foster's coming out. Uh, the Black Lyoth. Um, and I'll post. I'll post the uh, web link to marvelousnews.com. Who actually has pictures of these? Right down there. This will be in the description. Click on that. Check those out. Um, Black Lath, we're gonna get. Uh, we're all getting Frost Giants, Army Builders. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, you MU guys, of course, you're getting the Doc Samson, Spider Woman, Captain Marvel, uh, Heroes Reborn, Iron Man. A lot of stuff is coming out. That's it's adhering to both Marvel Legends and Marvel Universe. Thank you, Hasbro. I mean, this is more or less. You know, it's it's great that you guys are actually looking out for both sides. I know you're obviously making more money out of the universe as of right now, but you still have the diehard collectors and the people that want Marvel Legends. So, Hasbro, thumbs up, excellent job. Um, there's also some uh, works in with the um, 
the Masterworks line with uh, the Sentinels. So those are coming out. Those will stand around 12 to 15 inches tall. I'm not sure what the measurements are as of right now. Those look great. Um, they kind of put a mixture between the uh, 90s Sentinel, uh, the pink dildo looking Sentinel as Luther calls it. And the, uh, and the Marvel Legends Sentinel that you see here. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of a mix between those two. And, um, you know, it, it looks great in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's, it'll be great to, you know, kind of uh, build those as well as the Toy Biz line. You know, two separate versions of Sentinels. Maybe uh, Sentinel Mark five something like March six or whatever so that's that's great um, once again Hasbro you're you're doing you're doing the thing and 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 speaking from a collector's point of view thank you um, another thing I want to mention as well they're uh, probably tomorrow today or tomorrow they'll probably have the toy lines up um, as as um, for the uh, Thor and the Captain America the prototypes for them so you know check those out you guys keep a good lock on marvelousnews.com check those out uh, they do have pictures of the Thor already it looks great um, just looks I mean if you guys have seen the movie already it looks like that flat out um, I also saw some pictures of the helmets that are going to be in the movie for Odin Thor and Loki which makes me excited um, so I mean, I, I know I'm just promoting Marvel, Marvelous News. I don't have the editing software right now to you know, post the pictures for that. But you know, check that stuff out, guys. I'm I'm letting you know that it's out there, and uh, you know, giving you a good source to find those those pieces of information, and you know, that way we can all nerd out, and it's awesome. So um, you know, you know. I'm, I'm kind of lost for words right now. Uh, 750 subscribers. I, I've I've hit the three quarter mark um, to the thousand. Um, the thousand is my goal, obviously, and I'll probably I'll do more stuff to uh, you know be a better YouTuber from this point. I've been very slacking when it comes to YouTube lately, and I'm very very sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, like I said, I've been so busy. I try to watch as many videos as I can, and and. You know, people posting so many videos, contests, which um, we do have a contest coming up. Me and Ghetto, Chipsy, uh, we're I'm gonna go ahead and call it Ghetto. Um, I know you're watching. You watch my stuff. That's awesome. We're gonna extend that contest to the 15th for Comic Con guys. Uh, maybe you guys who said you don't have a Captain America and a Magneto. Why? Okay. Um. You know, you don't necessarily have to get the figures for the contest if you don't have them, but you need to have those figures. I mean, it, you're a collector of the line. Get them. There's really no nothing about it. Just get them. Doesn't matter what kind. Just get them. You got to have at least those types of characters to have a collection. That's just my opinion. Um, so, you know, keep on the lookout for that, guys. Um, you know, internet contest. If you dig the prizes, if you dig the prizes, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I got some other stuff to do. I'm also going to really quickly um, do finish my custom showcase out uh, for Wave One Line. I guess uh, I do have another wave that's being working on with uh, Enium Ridge for a whole slew of stuff. So keep an eye out for that. Um, wave one will include the wrecking crew. Uh, you might be able to find them over my shoulder. Uh, so you'll see the wrecking crew, um, how that was prepared and things like that. So when we get out of here, take care. Peace.